I'm David Cohen and I'm here at Variety with some of the fantastic artists from this year's Below the Line Impact List to discuss what makes a great collaboration. Tell us about the shorthand you develop with a director over time when you've worked together a lot. Pretty much have been collaborating with, you know, three people, Joel and Ethan Cohen and Bennett Miller for the last six, seven years or something like that. And I think it's, you know, I think it's the thing that, um, you can completely let your guard down and it's the freedom that they allow you because you don't have to prove yourself. I think it's the freedom that you get from uh, having a clear understanding of how everybody works and when to ask them questions and when not to because you know their mood. I mean, there's so many things involved with these things. You know, you hope you get the shorthand, right? It's, you know, and when you work with somebody multiple times, that that's something that, that's a, a blessing and, and you, um, you naturally get and you figure them out, they figure you out, it, it's probably, it's easier to communicate with them and, and know how they process things because different people process things differently, they don't want to get overloaded with stuff, so I mean, I've done things where I've, I've tried to like push it, like look at this, look at this, look at this, and they, they just don't understand, we do it, and then they're like, oh my god, I, I wish I understood that better before and it's like now you know after they saw it right and again the, the the more they understand and trust you then you don't have to do that and it's like this is what we're gonna do check this out and they're like yeah let's do that and all of a sudden magic happens I mean really I, I can start on day two of the shoot and my sort of job divides up between the shoot period and then the post period where you know it's almost like um, for me it's like you're loving everything into existence during the shoot and you're indulging every pause and that to might make and then, you know, you come to a very hard liposuction section of the process. You give it a very hard time for 10 weeks. And then you come out at the end of it, hopefully loving it again. You know, the big ups and downs in your feeling about the project and the success of the storytelling. A friend of mine wrote a book about James Cameron. I saw her interview and she said, you know, people are miserable working on those James Cameron movies and they complain and they complain and they complain. Then six months later or a year later when they're polishing their Oscar or when their quote is doubled, they go, well, that wasn't so bad after all. And I'm wondering if you've had that experience of having a show where working on it was awful, but when you finished later, the work was good and you kind of went, you know, it, it was all worth it. It's always all worth it, I think, without a question of a doubt. I have had that experience, not in terms of an Oscar, but in terms of working with a particular director who is extremely difficult. And the experience was dreadful absolutely dreadful and I think I asked to leave three times and I didn't the film turned out to be a huge success I forgot it's like labor like as a woman going through labor at giving birth to a child it's labor pain they always say you'll go back a second time because you forget the pain well I did go back a second time with the same director because the material was so good I could not resist the second picture I did quit because I quit in the middle because it was just awful and nothing could be worth it. I've had the great fortune of working with Steven Soderbergh now twice and it is heaven. He's a very trusting man. He directs, shoots, and edits. So he does those three jobs and he expects you to do your job. I think that all of our contributions are very necessary and very, very great. And I think that we all need to be respected and not be just trampled by a director.